got it about them to close up? Who's got the bollocks? Who's got the minerals to get them over this? Who wants to be a paracrumber? Ricky, how are you, brother? Yeah, all good, mate. How are you? Yeah, you've been in the thick of it a bit. Yeah, it has been a bit mental, mate, the last week, yeah. Yeah. A bit crazy. Bit of incoming. Yeah, mate, loads, loads. But, listen, to be honest with you, there's been more, more positive than negative. Much more positive than negative. Yeah, and that's what, 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 what all this is about, isn't it? You know, we... we we want a positive outcome for the next generation. Otherwise, everything, not just us veterans have stood for and our forefathers, who, who you know, I mean, let's be honest, what, hundreds of thousands, millions have lost their lives over the, the previous century for, for our freedom, but also for, for all the parents out there. Surely they they must want the um, you know they've got a vested interest in this. We we've got to get this right for our kids. Um, so what 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 I'll say from the start is massive uh, massive love to everybody at home. Thank you for joining us. Just want to make it clear from the beginning, we're a podcast. We're just a voice. We we broadcast on certain platforms. Some have different rules to others, and, and that's that's the way of the world. We're, we're not here to promote violence in any way. We're here to promote love, peace, empathy, and the better way. And that's, I think, in line with the ethos of us elite forces, guys. It's, it's everything we, we joined up for. So... What I'm saying is we're not, you know, we're not here to stir up any trouble. Um, and we're also not here to talk about like specific stuff that may or may not have gone on in society over, you know, the last few years. We're, we're, we're here to talk about freedom and what it is. Ricky and I came into contact um, following the recent protest in London, Ricky and his oppo Marco uh, rocked up there, proudly wearing their parachute regiment berries. Um, again, I'm going to say on, on, on behalf of um, freedom, Ricky and I got, got in contact. We've had a few chats I uh, think our thinking is very much aligned. And um, we thought we'd just have a chat today, mate, didn't we? Yeah, mate, yeah, it needed to be done. Um, it did need to be done because um, I think it's fair to say, look, the media have had their say. And yeah. It's only right that we get both sides are always important, mate, in any story, you know, especially when you're trying to get to the truth. Yeah, exactly. And, and, and the... The truth is really obscured if you only look at mainstream media, isn't it? Oh yeah, of course, mate. You're only going to get uh, you're only going to get one side. You know, if you're not if you're not willing to open your eyes um, to, to to the other side of the argument, and, and there is always two sides. You know, no matter what you're screaming, there's always going to be somebody in opposition. But to to only go down just the one route and to only open your eyes or open your heart to, to one one person's voice. I mean, that uh, it sort of goes against everything that, as you say, mate, our forefathers fought for in, in the first place, you know. Yeah, because I put a little video out, didn't I? And I just gave my, you know, I tried to give some sort of holistic perspective on on what was going on, why you guys got featured so heavily in the media that day and the subsequent days. Um, also that the bias that was involved in the tweets that were going out um, from certain uh, organizations, can we say, and, and, 
and I was also heightening the, the contradiction. I mean, you know, we're, we're, we're veterans, we're, we're, I'm not going to say brotherhood because we're a familyhood. Um, and for one person to be coming out and, and attacking you during a veteran's mental health and suicide epidemic is, is, it just highlights how far off the ball a lot of people are with, um, with not just their thinking, but also their, um, their loyalties. Um, you might belong to a certain organization now and you, you consider yourself a the self-righteous spokesperson, but it, this isn't about you. This is about the children in the next generation and, and who's going to stand up for them. You, you might protect your, your job position in the short term. Um, but uh, yeah, am I making sense, Ricky? I, I, I just try to highlight the, uh, you know, what is essentially a, diff, a difficult ground to cover, um, particularly on social media. No, mate, no, 100%. Look, I'm, I'm completely with you on that. And, mate, you're right. Look, and um, we are in the middle of a suicide epidemic, mate, not only amongst veterans, but among, among just everybody. I mean, look, this lockdown hasn't done anyone any favours. No one. It's only hurt the little guy, you know, the only people to have, to have benefited from, from any of this saga that we've seen in the last 18 months you know and the men in suits and funny enough they're the people that are advocating that we uh that we do these things that are not so great for us you know they're not so great for us so no mate it's not great that that certain people have stepped out of line especially when it's so clear to see what is going on um it i mean i almost i feel a little bit it sounds stupid to say, but I mean, I think we, we're living in a world of, of people that have been so conditioned and programmed to, to be so out of touch with themselves that people really can't see what's going on before them, mate. You know, it's such a shame. It really is such a shame. Because if it weren't like that, then um, I probably wouldn't have had to have been out with Marco on Monday. You know, this would have ended a long time ago. Yeah, There's somebody, no togetherness at the moment, Chris. They're, all I see is division everywhere, you know? Divide and control. That's the one, isn't it? That's the one. Order out of chaos. And chaos out of order. And they're doing, they're doing a good job of it. Yeah. They're doing a really good job of it. You know, where we go forward from here, I don't, I, I, I really don't know. Because, I mean, we are, to be honest, what more can the people do, Chris? I mean, people may not be aware. I mean, there's legal action. In, in progress, uh, you know, across a variety of, 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 of different um, things that have been broken and, you know what I mean, legislation has been broken here by various people. I mean, there's so much evidence. I mean, I've, I've, I can't even get my words out. There's so much to say on the issue. And what astounds me is that so many people have not got access to this information. And that is primarily what Monday was about. It was about laying out demands to say, look, our voices need to be heard because what we're saying is, it is a, it's the truth. Mm. You know, the truth's the only thing that's ever going to be consistent, you know, and eventually it will come out. Yes. I saw a couple of comments and fortunately it were very limited and they were along the lines of, you know, veterans should just keep in their place and, um, you know, shut up, keep the berries at home and all, 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 all this sort of stuff. Um, and it's, I, I'm going to use the term wake up. What, what is it that, that means that people like you and I can see what's going on, but sa oh. sadly, you know, the vast, I'm just going to say it, the vast majority, I mean, you've only got to go outside now still and see the utter fear that people are living under 
And not just that, not just that, but the what I would say is a real false sense of reality. But what is it that makes um, people see it? And the reason I bring up the berries thing is my understanding is so far from what they're putting out in the media, particularly with respect to your your event. And that's because I see what's going on in the veterans community outside of the media. Yeah. And I, as a podcast host, I, I'm inundated with messages, comments, et cetera, from veterans just to say, you know, you're on the money. Um, and we, you know, we, we, we support this, uh, let's call it just a way of thinking or, you know, or, or, or a way of this understanding. Um, but then again, I've also been with veterans and it's shocking. As folks, I'm sorry, I am ta- I know I'm talking slowly. It's because it, for you guys out there, you don't understand the restrictions that we're under. <laughs> You know, the restrictions that we are under. um, And, but, you know, I've I've been with groups of veterans and I've just seen that when I'm in a group, I'm, I'm literally the only person that challenges what's going on. And the way I do it, and I think this is a great peaceful way to do it is I don't comply. I don't comply with something that I believe if I believe it's immoral, um, particularly if I think it's to place my child in even more slavery than, than, than they're, than they're already in. 100% mate. I'm with you on that. I, I get so, uh, I get quite irate mate when I'm out. I mean, when the Freedom Day came along, the so-called Freedom Day, I mean, I, 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 I thought I'd see a lot, I, see, I thought I'd see a lot less people on the streets now still going along with it. And the way I look at it is, you know, the coverings, everything like that, it's a compliance tool. It's nothing more. And it infuriates me because everyone that puts one on, everyone, everyone that goes along with any, anything that they want you to do that's out of the ordinary, it, it's just you're allowing them to keep goose stepping us further and further and further into what is going to become a China-like system. I mean, like you say, we're under so many restrictions. I don't even know if we can say that, right? But it's it's going to be dystopian. You know, I, so many people are not aware. You know, you just have to look at this, the system they're living in. It's no secret. A social credit system, uh, a network of a hundred million CCTV cameras picking up your every move. If you don't want to play ball, maybe you can't book a train ticket. Maybe you can't shop in a certain store. Maybe you can't use the internet for a couple of weeks. That's not living, Chris. That's not, that's not life, mate. And that is, that is in no way, shape or form what our forefathers fought for. No way. I know it for sure. If you could go back and ask these guys, look, this is what you're fighting for today. And this is what's coming for in future. I mean, I'm pretty sure they would have said, well, then you guys are going to have another fight on your hands, aren't you? You know, because but so many people don't see it's a fight, Chris. Do you know what I mean? This, this, is a, this has been a psychological battle from, from day one. You know, that's all it's been. Psychological warfare, absolute bombardment from the media. Everywhere you go, you turn on the television, yeah, you turn on the radio. Let, let's not mention any... We won't you know, mention they, anything, no. Exactly. You're consistently having certain things thrown in your face. And it's hard to forget those things, you know what I mean? It, it, it does something up here. It changes you. And, mate, I'm a bit... I don't, I don't know if we've gone too far now. You know, I, I, I've, I've, I've read studies that say that it only takes three months for something to become a human habit, really. You know, things have been yeah. going on longer than three months. Yes. And what I see, Ricky, happening is we're constantly bombarded with this new tech under the guise that it's going to make our lives easier, happier, 
better, swifter, smarter. But when you actually speak to people, they're so lost in all of this. Um, they're unhappy. The, the way that people rationalize their lives is so far from what I would call enlightenment. It's so far from waking up in the morning, realizing you're in paradise. You know, we're all in paradise. It's just most people have been so shielded from this that they don't understand. I call it living in the matrix after that film called The Matrix. Oh, mate, listen, yeah. 100%. I watched that for the first time a couple of weeks ago. I've been saying that exact sentence ever since. It's pretty weird you say that. Yeah. And it, I mean, I spent time with quite a few different people recently, and the number of individuals that are still locked into trauma from stuff that was just ages ago, and they haven't been allowed to move on from that trauma. So they're living in kind of constant state of anxiety, fear, uh, mixing there, a bit of depression. And it's we never going to find this utopian happiness that, that we all deserve. If you believe that si Silicon Valley is going to provide it for you in some bloody new app on your phone that helps you fart, you know, register how many times you fart a day or, or um, you know, tells you what, what your bloody neighbor's doing or whatever the hell it might be. And it's, it's worrying. It's like the people that don't want you to be happy, that literally want to feed off your unhappiness, whether that's financially or for their own kind of sick power gains. Yeah, you know, we, we put them up there on a pedestal and we don't even question them. Yeah. Yeah, mate, people, people do. They're not interested, mate. The, the vast majority of people want to go home at the end of their working day. They want to switch the television on. They want to watch EastEnders. They, they, they care about when the football game's on. They care about which actor or actress is just coming in and out of rehab or going on, I'm a celebrity, get me out of it complete detachment mate but it's not their fault Chris I don't blame them you know it's like you said an absolute tech bombardment you know this is the age we're living in mate it's a sad truth but you know I don't know if you've ever seen them but I find those those little artist impressions and stuff of life quite interesting when you see like you know a family sat down on the couch all holding a piece of of handheld technology, no communication with each other whatsoever. You know, everybody is just so absorbed in this tech. It's unreal. And eventually, you know, but that's always been the plan, Chris, you know what I mean? The totalitarian tiptoe to take television from the corner of the room to then bring it a little bit closer, to then bring it to your hands, to then bring it to wearable technology, to then possibly bring it to insertable technology mm -hmm. that's where it's going and you know listen it's you can talk about theories um all we like but this is ever more becoming a reality it was only just the other day that i was um i was i, I was actually watching from a self news report on something that's going on in israel where they're planning to um to microchip young children to to, to allow people to know when 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 they when they're too close to somebody else, you know this this is this is where it's going, man. This, this is this listen a hundred percent. As you said, we're not here to advocate violence, nothing like that. But we're getting to a point now, mate, where it's going to go so far that you won't be able to turn it back without that being the case, possibly because. Listen, good, good men and, and, and women lost their lives for, for the very basic fundamental freedoms that we have today. They spilled their blood for it. And I can't stress enough to everybody that if we give those back, you will not get them back until somebody else spills blood for them. 
That's the truth, mate. Whenever somebody's given away their freedoms in history, that has always had to have been the case. Somebody, unfortunately, has had to lose their life for that freedom to come back. Now, I'll say to all the people that are so willing to give these, these freedoms away, if you are not going to be the person that's going to spill your blood or give your life to get those back, then don't be so steadfast to give them away. Yeah, that's, that's my message to people like that, mate. Because we're getting to that point now, brother, where honestly, it's going to go so far that it's going to be, it's going to be hard to do anything peacefully. It will be, it will be difficult. And, and as I said earlier, we're trying every means, mate. We are trying to be earned. We're trying the legal route. We're trying the outreach route. You know, we're being censored at every level. At every level, we're being censored. Why? Chris, if you go back in history, mate, if there's ever been a group of people or organisation or a government that have worked to silence someone, they usually always haven't gone on to, to be known as very good people. In fact, I challenge anybody to find a group that has silenced someone that has gone on to be known as a, as, as a great person or a great organisation. There isn't one. Bad things happen. You know? Yeah. God, it's... I literally don't even know where to begin with what to say. Probably not good good as a podcast host. But... <laughs> well, the thing is, mate, it's, it's, it's dire, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? This is the reality of it. And I think this is another reason... So there's a lot of people that don't want to know, mate, because they don't want to accept this as their reality because it's horrible. That's the stark reality of it. When you start thinking about it, it is quite, it's demoralising, mate. And, and it makes me quite sad, actually, of the whole human race that we've got to this. How did we get here, Bubba? Well, I can tell you, but <laughs> it's probably this subject for another chat. We yeah, got, probably, yeah. yeah, probably, mate. But it's not right, bro. It's not right, mate. And I'm, I need to be in a position in my life where if, I, if I'm going to pass away tomorrow, that I know that my kids at least have got a nice world. At least they, they've got some kind of protection from tyranny. It's not too much to ask, mate. Mm. You know? And at the moment, if I died tomorrow, I can't honestly say that I, 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 would, I would know that. So I can't, I can't, I can't leave my world like that, brother. Do you know what I mean? And every parent is, is got, has got to start saying no because because it's 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 gone past the vulnerable now. We know what's coming next, and I won't say any more. But uh, yeah, yeah. Um, listen, everyone knows exactly what I'm getting at. And, and I, I promise you, mate, like, I, I, honestly, I'm not looking forward to the next few months. I'm not, to be honest with you. No, Ricky. It... Oh. Again, freedom of speech. Why can't I just say... I, you know, my, I can't even tell you my own life experiences. I'm not talking about slagging other people off or hate speak. No, we don't. I don't do any of that stuff. I can't even. But <sighs> ah, I'm I, I'm literally stuck. I'm 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 stuck for a way to say it, but it's all well and good going along with the main narrative until it affects someone you love. And I'm not going to go into specifics here, but if, folks, if you think a little bit laterally, you can understand what I'm trying to say here. Imagine you put your child through a, um, let's just say a certain exercise. Imagine it didn't turn out too well, you know, and you're left with having to spend the rest of your life going, oh, I'm responsible for that. And Pretty now much. my child has got to live with that for the rest of their life. And this is the reality. This is a reality that's affected 
many of us. There's video, there's videos that are not, they're not Mickey Mouse ones or anything. They're what people are putting on their Instagram, begging for help for what's happened. Again, guys, I'm, I'm just, you, you're going to have to do the thinking here. But they're begging for help for what has happened to their loved one. Well, here's the thing. What if I surprise you and tell you you're actually all perfect? You are born perfect into this universe. Right? You'll hear me talking about my majority plant-based alkaline diet, which is a fancy word for saying I eat what I'm supposed to as a human being. I don't eat Western toxic diet. Why? Because I did that for uh, 33 years. And guess what? I was ill all the time time three colds a year the flu every year and when i made some some subtle really subtle changes in my life no i haven't there's no hardship there i suddenly found i stopped getting ill um i found that if i ran around the block in the morning just 0.9 of a mile not it's not commando stuff just anybody can do it you know wheelchair you can wheel yourself around the block you know, what I found is my mental health improved hugely. So I didn't constantly face the stresses and strains of anxiety and depression that are induced by the, the culture that we live in and the lack of support it gives to the individual. And to me, these are good things to promote, you know, but I haven't seen anything mentioned of such things in the mainstream media no nothing all i've seen is the responsibility taken off the individual for their own life and handed to corporate trillionaires who i'm guessing by the fact have a love of money and power really aren't in tune with this beautiful universe in the way that i, I would love everybody to be um, and that begs a question there. So what we're saying is, is looking after us. So that's just not important. Taking care of our mental health. No, nah, that's not important. What we've got to do is go, go to outside agencies and they will take care of every. How are we supposed to proceed if we don't even understand who we are as human beings? Chris. Who shuts down the gym and leaves a McDonald's open in a health crisis? Who offers you a free joint or a custard cream donut to entice you to do something that obviously you had decided not to do or you did, you know, you hadn't yet done? What kind of are we, are we allowed to? I don't know if it's advocating drugs or if we have to cut this bit out. But to, to some people, they might not mind the donut and the joint, though, bro. Yes, <laughs> yeah. but I they can might. tell you by poisoning yourself. When no, we, no, you know, I, no, I completely agree with what you're saying. No, I'm, I'm, I'm just messing about with you, mate. Really, but no, not on a serious note. Th this is going to go further than that. I mean, isn't it five hundred dollars at the minute, mate? In, in in some states to go to go and get certain medical procedures yeah and also i saw a notice today and again you know it's just a notice put on instagram you you don't know the the, uh, the authenticity of it but doctors now refusing to treat i'm talking gp surgeries refusing to treat their i don't like to use the word patients but you know their communities unless they've done certain things and if they haven't done the certain thing, they'll only be spoken to over the phone. Um, uh, ah, ah. It's not going to stop there, though, is it? No, of course. What, and we know that. You know, it's, it's not going to stop there. And this, this, is, this is why. This is why we're so passionate, mate, about, about ending this. And how we end it, I don't know. I mean, this agenda goes 
further than the hands of just politicians, mate. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And people just don't understand that it got, that those people that they see on the television, you know, your world leaders, though they are not the people pulling the strings here. You know, they're not. And if you showed a picture of certain family members that, that run certain banking institutions, most people wouldn't have a clue who that person was if you showed them a picture of that person, mate. No. Most you know? people wouldn't have a clue that big tech meet every year at a, a, a meeting in, is it in Sun, Sun Valley? So people listening will understand the emphasis on the sun. Most people won't even have any idea whatsoever um, that they, they meet every year, you know, various organisations meeting behind closed doors every year to decide how they're going to plan your future and how they're going to nail you more into the home cocoon, which we've seen. We've seen people nailed in to, to instead of going to work using Zoom and People might say, well, what's wrong with that? Well, I'll tell you what's wrong with it. Work is work. Your home life is, 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 is your home life. That's right. There's, ma there's many jobs that, that, that people like myself do, my, my partner does. It, they're not suitable to, suitable to be done in front of a child. It's stuff yeah. that that child should be protected from. You know, I'm talking like nasty, not I do the podcast, you know, I talk about a whole range of, let's call it adult stuff but my partner is in you know she works with um uh, dispossessed children so you can only imagine some of the stuff that comes wow. up yeah right? and yet we're supposed to think it's normal now to work from home and bring all that shit into our home to have to, to have to seal off a room of the house which used to be our eating room where we got together as a family to celebrate you know, our love for each other and our life. But no, no, now that's an extension of the office. And guess what? Do you get paid for it? No, of course you don't. Get jack shit more, you know. Um, we now no longer speak to our neighbour, but we might get an app where we can grass them up because, you know, they had a barbecue last week and they had six people come instead of five. <laughs> you know? So there's no, we don't speak to our neighbours anymore, let alone the wider uh, community. Yeah. Um, and so... It looks like we've got a lot of brain dead morons heading into the future in their little bubble. Everybody angry as hell with each other, which they can only express through a keyboard. So it just gets vile on, on online. Um, and what for? Is this going to make pe people's futures happier? Or is it going to lead to a bunch of, let's just say, for example, 35 year old men? that are just mumsies boys or pansies, as we used to call them, you know, never gone further th than sitting in front of a computer for their job, which I mean, there's no disrespect at all, but we used to call that like secretarial work. It wasn't like going out and smashing it on the farm or building a submarine in a factory or melting steel with, with the guys, you know, it's sitting in front of a keyboard. And when you get to 35, how, how are you going to feel about yourself? You know, you haven't done the skydiving, the flying, the, the marathons. I'm not suggesting joining the military is the way, but it, it certainly gave us a bit of experience. Um, yeah, for sure. It's it's all gonna all gonna cave in on itself. Mental health's gonna suffer. Addiction's gonna go even more through um, through the roof than it already has done. And who's Who's speaking out about this? Who's worried that probably let five companies, their shares have just gone through the roof? Like Absolutely. Literally. The roof, mate. And we're talking hundreds of billions. No, we're it's talking trillions, mate. Trillions. trillions. Yes, trillions. Trillions. Yes, trillions. And this has been get, the biggest transfer in wealth since probably 1929, right? Is that right? Well, it's a consistent push. When you control the money system, you control the inflation, you control the debt, you, you can crash the economy like that. And that's, like that, what, yeah. 
that's what we've done. We've handed our what used to be a very simple system of exchange. So, you know, if you paint my front door, I'll come and fix your gate. But if I can't do that, I'll say, Ricky, look, here's free cockle shells. That represents what you get paid for painting a gate. No profit in it, no interest, yeah. no in, not, none of that, just a simple. But then back in ancient Babylon, we're talking 700 years ago, when the, um, the psychopaths got together and went, do you know what? We can actually turn this into an international monetary system where we keep every single person locked down in slavery from birth, right? Okay, it was a gradual progression to where we've got to now, but that is where we are now. We have a cent uh, the central banking system. Um, it is a system that is allowed to basically print money, lend it to you, and then charge interest on it. So basically, if I gave you that bit of paper and put 10 quid on it and went, they are, mate, yeah. right, could you give me back uh, 12 quid, Ricky? You'd tell me where to get lost. So many people aren't aware of that, mate. No. If you ask, so, mate, is my sound right, by the way? My kids are really kicking off downstairs. I don't know. No, I can't hear them, hear them mate. Can't oh, hear Oh, good them. stuff, mate. But, um, yeah, mate, it, it, it is amazing. It's actually bewildering to me how um, money has got, it, it, it controls our life in ways that people just aren't, that they aren't aware of like i say to everyone if you had a billion pounds in the bank would you be doing what you're doing today and most people have to honestly say no of course i wouldn't be doing this today i wouldn't be here so i say to them well, where does money come from and they they never i say well everyone's got different answers it comes from the government it comes from the banks and when i try to explain to them the creation process of money and how it's loaned into existence and comes from a private bank that's then given to the government and spread out Mate, listen, this goes well beyond what they even want to know. They're not bothered. They're not bothered. And it is bewildering to me how someone can be so un unbothered or uncurious about how that money is loaned into existence and exactly how the fractional reserve banking system works. It controls their entire life. It controls the food that they eat. It controls the, the, the lifestyle that they live. It controls mate, the level of education that their child can receive. And they're not interested about where this comes from. And it controls every war that we fight. Every war that you fight, it is, it's a fantastic tool. But it only gives them so much power. And this, it does kind of do my head in a little bit when I see so many people that claim to have a, a great understanding of what's going on, maybe. And they say, oh, they're doing this for money. This is not, what's going on right now is not about money. They can print money until they're blue in the face. You know, this is what I'm trying to say to people. You know, this goes beyond money and that's why it's dangerous. You know what I mean? Because beyond controlling someone with money, what's beyond, what's beyond that? Yeah, you it's know? almost as if a group of psychopaths got together 400 years ago and decided to create a new world order. And Yeah, almost. Almost. I mean, it's, yeah. It is almost like that, isn't it? That would just be weird, wouldn't it? Mate, absolutely crazy. Yeah. Anyway, bloody, bloody, bloody silly talk. <laughs> no, but it is the truth, though, brother. Honestly. Yeah, of course, of course. Um, it's, it, it's kind of funny. I was with a, 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 a colonel in the military the other day, and and um, I can't remember the scenario, but it was something like I think we went in to go into a shop. And he did a certain thing and then looked at me and went, are you not doing and, <laughs> and I said, I don't watch the news, mate, because that's all this has come from. It's come from, you know, I'm not at a single. And again, we're not going to say any of the words, but I am at a single letter through my door from any official government or medical, uh, like, for example, NHS source to inform me of what has been going on, whether in my country or globally for the last you Now, all I've seen is it is the BBC announcing things, right? Um, You're right yes, since, since a certain procedure they, that, 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 that's been introduced, I think, yeah, one, uh, I might have got a text actually saying, why haven't you done this? Can we help you to do it? Um, 
but sorry, I lost my thread there. Um, That's right, mate. You're talking about the medical procedures. Yeah, but no, I was talking about the fact that that. Oh yeah, so I'm going into this shop and I'm like, no, I don't watch. Your, I don't. You know, if you want to do all that stuff because you watch your news and you believe it all, like, but like you just, you know, you're punishing yourself. Okay, you do, if you don't have the TV on, you don't have Sky News playing in the background 24-7 like we did when we was, what well, I'm going to say kids, right, for that endless endorphin rush, then you'll be amazed, folks, at how much stuff doesn't affect you or your life or your family's life. Yeah. But, of course, when you go out the front door into a shop, then, then it, it, it does affect you. And um, so this gentleman said to me, well, you don't watch the news. And I said, no, I haven't watched the news for 20 years since certain events took place in a certain country. And I went, I ain't buying into that shit. <laughs> you know, um, you know, <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm not buying into things that fall out of the sky for no reason whatsoever. And, and yet nobody, no one quite, if that's what the news does to you. Yeah. Um, so, so yeah, so this is it, but here's the thing, Ricky, what, what, why, What is it that kickstarts you on this road to the truth? Why is it that we can even be having this conversation? And why is it that some people that will be listening are just like, guys, thank you. We get it. You know, we get, and, and, that, and I'm, I'm guessing, and I mean this, no disrespect because I used to be there for others. Thank it's you. just like, what? You're saying that money, you're saying that the, I mean, my, I think my kind of awakening is coming stages. I think when you battle chronic addiction in your life, well, certainly the case for me, in order to get out of that, I started to realise everything that I'd ever been taught was a lie. I mean, everything. Yeah, everything. And it does go, it is literally everything yeah it? everything from from birth certainly this um uh this pigeonhole in education system that literally teaches you how to sacrifice your whole life working in a call center for two weeks holiday in the summer and one week at christmas your your whole life um as opposed to teaching you kindness empathy reaching out to the universe meditation understanding your your yourself on a metaphysical level and in, on a personal level yep. tune, tuning into this you know beautiful creation that's out there understanding that ricky is me and i'm ricky because we're made of the same shit we come from the universe all these atoms they've always been here they'll always be here so why am i nice to ricky well because he's me in another body why don't they teach you that at school well, we know we know why because we've been under this agenda for let's say four hundred six sixteen sixty six four hundred years, um, and these uh, individuals understand they can keep us in our left brain, which they do very well with this in education system that doesn't teach you anything that you really need to know other than three apples and six apples equals, I don't know, about four apples or something, right? <laughs> but they, they're very clever at this game. Keep the people in their left brain. Don't let them blossom. Don't let them, you know, don't let them um, become fulfilling, achieving, happy adults, because for God's sake, then they'll turn around and say, shove your big tech. Don't need any of that nonsense, you know? Um, exactly right mate they've done such a good job of it as well in a way you've got to tip your hat to them because they have 90% of people buy into it mate they buy into whatever they're told on the box in the corner of the room you know yes and back to my question is that because they haven't had 
a hardship like triggering in their life that's well, made them have. You know I've had this discussion with so many people recently, and I, I, I've, I'm kind of of the opinion now, mate, that um, yeah, I think it does take something. It, 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 for me, anyway, it took it took a trauma. I mean, going out to to oh, not so much a trauma, but I mean. It was quite traumatic in the sense where when I'd look back at the things I'd done out in the Middle East, I realised that those things were done for the wrong reasons. But it was that time going out there and seeing that things just didn't add up. Um, and when I was when I was over there, I, w- I was I was handed some information from from an American guy um, on a certain global event that happened years ago that completely changed the face of history. Same event you were probably talking about. And um, once I'd unraveled that, mate, um, it kind of took me down every other rabbit hole that there was. So, yeah, I don't think you're born into into a certain level of consciousness, mate. I think it comes with a lot of it comes with a lot of digging, mate, in yourself. I think you really you usually, mate, you'll find the people that are most consciously aware are the people that have been absolutely down at rock bottom, you know, and probably maybe even more than once, you know. It, you have to be broken down to kind of like rebuild yourself. And I think it's when you start rebuilding yourself, you kind of see, you, 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 you do. Once, you hit, once you've got yeah. nothing, mate, you see everything for what it is. But I'm going to add a caveat here. I think that's only because we've been indoctrinated into the matrix from birth. And it takes, oh, some, cool. it takes something special, something usually very challenging, in my case, almost dying more times than I care to imagine uh, through chronic addiction and, and complete loss of my mental health. Whereas if we was an indigenous Indian tribe, I bet our elders would instill this stuff in us from birth and we'd go out and re- we'd respect the nature. Of course. You know, when I say universe, they'd probably call it the great spirit. They probably realise that we live in paradise on earth. We don't need, you know, I mean, they, they only took from the land, didn't they? They didn't, I mean, they, they, they didn't take anything that couldn't grow back. Yet with all this technology, it's almost ludicrous to think you can continue. You can't just keep taking from the earth. We've only got the one earth. You've got these um, no psychopathic billionaires with all their ridiculous space programs pretending that they can go into space why because they want you to believe that we can reach out and get resources from other planets so it's fine to just continue destroying this one it's a bizarre Um, but when you think it was law yeah when you you don't laugh you cry mate that's the thing ah but I, I try my best, mate, with my boy, you know. I try my best when we talk about someone that we know that's died and I, and I ask my son where he is, he points out, he says, there he is, daddy, in the trees, in the sky, in the birds, in the... He's room. everywhere, he's in everything. You know, he, he understands, you know, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get it, that the, 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 we're universe first, we can't go anywhere, we've got to stop being destroyed made to think we're individuals and then destroyed in that identity so we can be controlled. Um, yeah. Listen, brother, I think we've done very well. I think we've covered all the bases. Um, it's been a pretty deep chat, mate, yeah? Well, I'm going to say not, not really, Ricky, because I tell you what, I mean, no, again, I mean no disrespect to anyone, but I bloody love to have this chat when I went on a night out or if I went with my mates on a stag do or if I went down to my local co-op to pick up a... You can't, though, can you? You know, I love for someone to go, yeah, universe is amazing, isn't it? And I, I did an hour of meditation this morning and it made me remember that I'm a set of carbon molecules fly, fly, flying through the galaxy at, you know, and, 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 but what do you get? You get people reliving their traumas to you, reliving their histories, um, because they've never ever been given the tools to realize it's all just part of your journey and it's all good. It, mate, yeah. you can you know, it's all, that matrix. You know, 
you get people talking about what's on the box tonight and you know, who's on Strictly and 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 it's okay, Ricky. But I tell you what, if it wasn't for people like yourself, I would start to question if I was on this planet on my own. <laughs> With the exception, no, 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 no. you know, I, I know exactly what you're saying. And so I thank you for it, mate. You know, we 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 are not alone. No, thank you, mate. We're not alone, and there's people watching now that will be very grateful for your input, mate. And um, well, thank you. Listen, you know, having me on, yeah, in the first place, mate. I can't tell you how grateful I am because there's, you know, there's not that many people that have reached out um, to give me a chance to to speak, or yeah. for people to be able to see me for the human being that I am, rather than what they were given by by the press. You know, so thank you for that, mate, and thank you for the. For the um for the video that you put up in the first place, mate. Because as I say, when when I spoke to you, didn't I? I said, as soon as I saw it come up on my live feed, I said, a Royal Marine reacts to this. I thought we've opened ourselves up here for <laughs> a right grilling, mate. But honestly, um, I, it was it, it was quite um it was heartwarming, mate. To be honest, and uh, th thank you for being you, brother. And it's a shame we don't have um more people like you. To be fair, yeah. Well. It's like this for, for veterans watching. I, I know it's confusing because I've done the both and I've been, I've been serving. I'm now a civilian or veteran civilian. Um, but it's, I've lived, worked and traveled now in 85 countries across all seven continents. Sorry folks, if you've heard this before, but I just want to reiterate, I've been in combat I've been in peace. I've seen um, an oppo shot dead. Um, I have been to the depths of mental health and bad and had to do all the soul searching that it takes to get yourself from the darkest place you can ever imagine back to full health, which meant getting rid of so many of the lies that I'd just been told my whole life. I mean, I've done a lot of other stuff. I'm a pilot, qualified pilot, skydiver. I ran the length of the UK without any training whatsoever. Did an ultra marathon a day carrying 15 kilos when all the professionals said, no, you, Chris, you're joking. You'll never do it. I said, I will. Um, did quadruple Ironman to raise money. All of this I do to raise money in the veteran suicide epidemic, uh, raise awareness the veteran suicide epidemic to raise money for our struggling oppos. Christmas, I ran two a hundred miles around a running track, and then another hundred miles uh, around Dartmoor, all in I think it was six or seven days. Again, to raise awareness of the 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 the, the, the hand that veterans have been dealt or not not been dealt, I should say, by by our government. Um, I'll backpack through every single country in the Americas, from Alaska to the southern tip of Argentina. Um, I've written, I think, six books now, one, one of which was an international bestseller. I studied a master's degree in the social sciences at university. And I'm not saying this to lord it over you, because none of that means anything to me other than it puts a smile on my face when I have a beer, maybe, right? It means nothing. Why? Because I live now in this moment moment so, that's so right all this ego stuff yeah there's probably a bit of that there but let's just leave all that in the past but why am i saying it is i wouldn't i don't think i'm deluded brothers and sisters you know i don't think i'm deluded i think i've probably seen maybe a bit more of this world and i've read i've just read books since i was five years old I read history. I, I read all the kind of war non-fiction, so Vietnam, Second World War, um, 1984, Brave New World, all, all the classics that kind of predicted stuff, you know, where life was was going to go. So, um, yeah, I just. Um, yeah, I'm just putting that knowledge, you know, what I've learned out there now, Ricky, and I, I hope veterans, rather than just shut us off and go, yeah, yeah, well, those two idiots will go, well, actually, you know, like, and what am I doing this for? Because if people think you make money on YouTube, 
Um, possibly my buddy James English might make a few quid now, but I can tell you I've never made, I have never made a penny off it. So um, I must be getting something out of it. Other than meeting wonderful people like Ricky, it's just to give back, really. Thank you, brother. Yeah, just to give back and hopefully for our youngsters out there, you can start to see the way of thinking that those of us that live in paradise that we've we've developed. Um, no matter what these psychopaths are doing, I, I, they're not going to stop me living in paradise. As a final thing, because I'm getting a message to lot, say, Chris, what can we do? I just want to take it back to basics and say what I do is I focus on myself. I try to keep my house in order. Um, I eat a plant-based alkaline diet. I doesn't mean I don't eat meat. It's just majority of what I eat is vegetables. I find that puts me on such a high level of functioning in life that my happiness just goes through the roof. Um, cut out the drugs and the alcohol. Yeah. We've all had experiences on them, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But when it becomes a staple in your life, it cuts your, your, your body's vibration down. And your body is specifically tuned for a million years of evolution, well, billions of years early, to vibrate a certain way um, in, in tune with this, this bigger thing. And what alcohol and, and drugs do is they cut that down. What that does, that makes you then feel unhappy. When we're unhappy, we project that unhappiness out onto other people because we need an outlet for that unhappiness. This is why you see so many people hating on social media is they not, they haven't found the paradise in themselves and it comes out through bitterness, hatred, which then triggers other people off into a downward spiral or a negative spiral. And, and the whole thing sort of snowballs. So eat well, jog around the block in the morning, gives you, just feels brilliant for your mental health. Cold shower stimulates the nerves in our body that when we as hunter gatherers would have been stimulated every time it rained, but now we live indoors, that doesn't happen. So it's important, get a bit of cold water on you. Practice is everything you do based on love, empathy, kindness, understanding. And I'm not a saint. I can tell people to fuck off at the best of times. And believe me, I, I do. But I know I'm wrong. I know it's not the way you want to do it. With respect to what might or might not be going on inside, I don't comply. And I'll tell you what. It's made me understand that out of the elite forces... I'm either one or two things. I'm either much more informed than the vast majority of these men and women or I'm braver because some of them know what's going on and yet they still... They still comply. say nothing. They still Mate. comply. And when you challenge them on it, they say, yeah, but what it is, Chris, it just makes it easy. Yes, it makes it easier for you, doesn't it? For you, yeah. You know? Selfish you. Man. And what do we do as, as fighting men and women? We never leave someone behind, do we? And when you make it easier for you, just because, you know, you're six foot four muscle boatswain commando, but you're scared of what a 16 year old shell stacker might say to you in Lidl because you're not conforming to the, um, you know, to, to the herd. To the narrative. You, you're scared of that. It's it, it's it's like come on, folks, right? It's it's not it's not causing violence. It's not it's not um, you know pushing and shoving. It's just I don't comply, and I won't. Stand it in your truth, mate. It it it, it is. Um, I, I I used to think that things like courage and, and standing by your morals they were some they were something that we used to promote mate they were fashionable once you know what i mean now now we live in this age where everyone's so worried about offending someone everyone's lost mate I yeah went on, i went on holiday recently i was wandering wandering through padstow which is always very packed with tourists in the summer and 
I was just watching the men and the way that they were behaving, particularly with respect to, you know, what's been going on. And you could see some of them couldn't wait to spring in. You, you'd think they were putting on the Superman suit, right? I think everyone, have a think a bit laterally, folks. You know, you know what I'm referring to. You know, they come up to a shop and, and, and it's like, you could see how much they're missing in their lives because they don't feel manly. They've been emasculated by this, this um, shredding of all our values and everything that ever, you know, the fact now that you can be a man, but actually you can decide now, nah, I just want to be a woman. Or, actually, no, I want to be, now I'll tell you what, I want to be a turquoise hedgehog. Yeah, that's fine, Chris. You can, you know, instead of having people talk to us realistically, set us off on, you know, good trail. You've yeah. got this, utter confusion young people have to face about what what is actually scientifically what um but this stripping this this um it's all uh, part of the plan mate yeah oh oh massively part of the plan but you and can see it plan, so you can see it by the clothes that men wear now you know you just look at it and think mate you're a bloke <laughs> you're yeah. a bloke and 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 it, it Again, no criticism of the individual. This is this is about what's going on, folks. It's not about you or me. It's about the children and what's going on yeah. with them. But that's right. You could see these. The, the, you know, we've had damaged pathways into adulthood. People that thought they were going to go out and be James Bond or John Wayne, and d- they actually ended up doing this behind a computer, whether that's architecture or banking or accounting. What? But it's still you know, it's not fighting tigers and swinging on a jungle vine, which is all I've wanted to do in my life. And unfortunately, well, I haven't done the fighting tigers bit, but I swung on a few vines down there in the Amazon jungle. And I feel very fulfilled for it. I I want for nothing now in life, Ricky, because I've done everything that I ever wanted. Yeah. But you can see people that get, that are being indoctrinated into this wage slave thing thinking you give your whole life just to get promoted to this and then you get a the bigger car then you get you know bigger out uh, what you, you're just enslaving yourself so more in. yeah so superficial mate i used to be just like that though mate so like you know it's we all did at one we point. all yeah we as we said no one was born on this you know no one come out the womb at this conscious level of uh, awakeness and just knew everything you know Thank God for it, though, brother, because, you know, you can really see life for its true beauty when, when you're not locked in that matrix anymore. Yes, you so can. You start to really value things and you start to see, you see what your true wealth is, you know, being your health, you know, and your, you know, your family. For me, my children, mate, and my health, that's, if I've got them, then I'm pretty much all good. But I see both of those things under fire at the minute. Do you know what I mean? And that's why, hence why I'm doing what I'm doing. Because it's those very two things that are important to me that I never thought should have any... I would never have to be worried about whether they're safe, my health and my children. And now I see that both are potentially in a position where they're not safe. Yes, exactly. But if we do the things I just suggested, that's that's something that everybody can do. Absolutely, mate. I mean, there's a certain, there's a certain license at the moment. I won't say any more hundreds of uh, thousands of people a day are not paying that one anymore not yeah yeah yeah. you know i don't support people that will do innocent people harm they they use the t word a lot for that in the mainstream media and i i'm not one of them so i'm not going to fund an organization that is lying through its teeth there's it's a crime anyway it's a crime to fund yeah there's a lot of things we can do do folks you know yeah, there are a lot of things that we can do. The power is with us. Yeah. The power Let's is with us. Start by learning to love yourself, love other people, love the universe, and then uh, jobs are good. On. Ricky, good, let's, let's chat soon, brother. Stay, stay on the line, mate, but much love to you and, and massive thank you for you, um, to you and Marco for your commitment. Much appreciated. Thank you, brother. Thank you, mate.